Hey everyone, it's Colin. All right, I think this is going to be the final video on this topic because I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm one of those kind of people who sometimes can't let things go. And this stupid thing has bugged me and I just couldn't let it go and I kept tinkering with it. Well, I have finally kind of figured out how to make the upgraded Game Boy Advance at least somewhat work decently. Some thanks are due to forums on the internet and a couple of other YouTubers who have commented on the previous videos. There's something that I kind of forgot slash neglected in the previous videos to try out when doing the upgrade on this Game Boy. Let me show you what it is. So you no doubt remember last time how I showed you how the video was kind of grainy and dark on the new backlit screen installed in the GBA. There is an adjustment that can be made that in some cases, not all, but in some cases, will fix that. Here's what you do. You take all the screws out of the back and you pull the back cover off. If you look right next to where I've got that blue wire routed, that's a little trim pot. Apparently that handles some voltage stuff. I was hesitant to goof with that before because sometimes when you're goofing with voltage stuff, it can cause the whole console to go wonky. Apparently though, that's not the case on the GBA. So you stick a Phillips screwdriver, a little jeweler's Phillips screwdriver in the trim pot and turn it clockwise to up the voltage or whatever. The one thing I need to mention is that it's not a simple matter of taking this thing and cranking on it a whole bunch. There is a lot of finesse that goes into getting this set up right. Turn it just a little bit at a time, try it out, if that's not good enough, turn it a little more. There also is a point where you can have it turned too much and the screen gets bad again. I've got this thing finally dialed in. It's just a matter of trial and error to get that trim pot set where it needs to be. For testing, I'm just kind of setting the back on here. One thing also to keep in mind if you're going to be doing this, be very careful of that little wire that you've got that feeds the power on the screen. Mine likes to keep falling towards the little latch in here for some of the accessories. It keeps the shell from closing properly. The other thing that I've noticed is that it's always going to be a little bit difficult to, to screw the whole thing closed because that new screen is slightly thicker than the old one. Uh, even though we did all the trimming of the plastic inside the front face, this thing's always going to want to bulge just a little bit so it's going to be like you got to kind of hold it down tight while you, you know, while you do all the trial and error, throw a couple of batteries in. And then let's see what we get now. It is much brighter if you compare it to the last video. And all of that weird interference is gone, which I think is kind of goofy. I don't understand why the uh, the new screen would have like noise issues based on if the voltage is, is different. But so yeah, you just tweak that little trim pot and there you go. I'm really not willing to recommend this mod to anybody still. I would only do this mod if you really, really like this form factor. Otherwise, go try and do what I did and just get a steal on a GBA SP. I know I understand why some people like this form factor and I do like this form factor too. I like the fact that it's just AA batteries. I, I think this is a little bit more of an old school kind of form factor too. It kind of reminds me of the older Game Boys as opposed to the newer clamshell style which is all kind of the DS era. But you know, um, if you've got, already got a GBA SP and you're willing to mod it and you're willing to spend the 30, 40 bucks on a kit, well. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Just understand that it's not going to be a real simple, you know, set and forget kind of a thing. Um, it, there is going to be some tweaking involved. I guess this one's back on the table in terms of mods. Uh, I'll, I'll retract my previous statement about don't do this. Um, go ahead and do it. Just understand that it's, it's a little fussy. So all of that said, please hit the like button if you like this video. That does help me out. You know, I'm trying to grow the channel here. Um, playing really crappy Mario Kart while trying to talk is I'm sure not going to help me with my channel. Although maybe that's a channel idea is just play video games really, really bad and see if people find that entertaining. I don't know. Anyway, so hit the like if you like the video. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button, you know, down there. 
And as always, thank you all so much for watching.